trying to decide on booking a ticket with American or Delta right now, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Haley and I am the author of HaleyWithTheFlare.com. I am a travel blogger that specializes in land, cruise, and Disney travel. And I also dabble in lifestyle posts like plus size fashion and other family posts. Thanks so much for joining today. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching my American Airlines travel vlog from last month. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't seen it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check it out. Today, we're gonna see some of that footage again, but I'm also gonna show you a comparison of Delta. Delta and American have very, very different COVID procedures right now. For example, the biggest thing, Delta is blocking middle seats. American is not blocking middle seats. The boarding process is different as well as the capacity. So you're gonna see that between these two videos and then we're gonna review it all at the end. So let's get started with American first. So we made it on board and we got row eight on this Embraer commuter jet because all the seats ahead of us are extra money. There's nobody ahead of us. Nobody. All these seats cost extra money even though they look the exact same as what we have. And that's all of us. We are sanitizing. These are genius. These are awesome. Yay! So far, as much as I fly, this is the first time I've seen this. Now your neck doesn't hurt. Put it in there, Jeffrey. Sweet. And I got a USB charger. And I got a USB charger. That's cool. Boarding, we each got one of these. There's a mini bottle of water, pretzels and a hand sanitizer wipe. So I didn't anticipate being able to show you guys a different airline, but here we are. I am back on Delta because of all the craziness that happened with American last night. I just booked new tickets for the way home out of San Antonio. We'll explain that a little bit later in this video, but uh, remember Delta is blocking up the middle seats. They're going to be boarding a little differently than American. So. Uh, let's do a comparison. All right, so we're getting Purell when we board. There we go. There's your reminder to be respectful. Much less crowded boarding process. And definitely not as full. Not as full. Now they're going around collecting these that they handed you when you got on board. Because they don't want it shoved in. Here's the Sky Lounge. Everything is pre-packaged. Still kind of buffet style, but pre-packaged. So we made it onto this flight, as you can see. Not jam-packed. Got the wipes and everything like last time. Cleaned off. Don't worry, that's not a true middle seat. That's the exit row. And as you can see, not a lot behind us. That's what the form stuff looks like. 
<laughs> it was. Because <laughs> if you don't film that ahead of time, they show you the notice. You can scan it with your phone or you can fill it out here. So that's the deal. So the main theme of flying during COVID-19 and all that jazz is everybody has a questionnaire. The airlines, uh, the country that you're flying to if you're out of the country, the state potentially. So be aware. I'm gonna link some of those questionnaires down here. The one for Mexico, the one for New York. So you guys can see and take a peek. Um, I will pop back in a little bit when I look a little less disheveled from traveling all day. Um, and we'll wrap this up. So one second. Big difference as you guys can tell. Now I'm gonna lay this out there. It's not that I didn't like flying on American. It was okay. I personally felt better on Delta. I think the boarding process was smarter and they actually narrowed down the capacity across all cabins. So in first class, if you're one person, they're not gonna sit somebody next to you unless that you're on the same tickets. And that goes the same right through Comfort Plus and Economy. I thought that was smart. I think the snack options were also better on Delta. Just, I mean, pretzels on American were pretty bad. Not that I typically eat that stuff anyways, but you know, if you need a little munch, you need to take some medicine. Both planes were clean. All the staff was super friendly for the most part. Really didn't encounter any bad customer service issues. I think overall, if you want to spend a little extra, if Delta's more money and feel safer, go about that. If you're gonna book American right now during COVID, buy the middle seat. That'll help you feel more comfortable because honestly, American's having some really cheap airfare. So if you're gonna go somewhere, Sometimes buying the three tickets with American is going to be cheaper than the two tickets with Delta if it's a couple or if you're just one person. If you are curious how to buy that third seat, there is a whole process. I have a blog link down there that tells you how to do that. You just can't book another flight for yourself online. They're gonna cancel that ticket and it's a headache. So make sure you guys check that article out. If you have questions, please leave it down below and stay tuned because my Mexico series is just about ready to go live. So you should start seeing that next week. Bye guys.